Praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning to you on this Wednesday, the third day of January. Welcome to our morning prayer and time of devotion. In our prayer request this morning, let's remember Sue Helton Morris. Uh, she has a brain tumor that latest MRI shows has doubled in size, and she will be having surgery to remove this on January 31st. Kristen's niece Grayson is having ACL surgery today and she needs miraculous recovery as this is just five days until she has to be back on college campus, campus so she needs to heal very quickly. Cindy is having back surgery tomorrow. Let's continue to remember her in prayer. Lois Link is needing to get a surgery date uh, to have surgery on her back as she has been in much pain for a long period of time. Marsha's co-worker's husband has been vomiting blood. He had a scope done yesterday to determine the cause of this. So let's continue to remember uh, him in prayer. Uh, pray for Maisie. This is Jamie Joe's cousin who has a brain tumor uh, and all the others who are battling cancer currently. Let's continue to remember them in our prayers as well as those who are going through precautionary treatments. Uh, we keep praying for Dave and Oscar with kidney problems, those with Parkinson's disease and related issues, uh, several that we're praying for with stomach problems and back pain, uh, also arthritis and mobility issues. Let's pray for those who suffer with diabetes, Jimmy Warren, Cheryl LaChance, Brother Pulliam, Christian Carr, Titus Dornbach, Cindy and Lloyd Page, Tim Workman, Steve Cummins, Anthony Williams, Michael Williams, Emily Stanley, Evie, Rose Brown, Becca, Cheney, J.R., uh, Kristen's neighbor Natalie, myself, Lola Dickinson, uh, Kristen's cousin Grady, and Holly. And we need to pray for a stabilization in the uh, medication market uh, as relates to diabetes. Um, yesterday when I reapplied or applied for re-enrollment um, in my program for Trilicity, I noticed that they're not taking any new uh, patients in that program and the reason for that is because so many people are now using these um, injection pens uh, for weight loss uh, that it has upset the uh, market and it's hard for diabetics actually to be getting the medications uh, that they need because the availability is so low so uh, let's just pray that all that would work out that those who um, need these uh, in some cases life saving and for sure, life of prolonging medications will be able to get them. Uh, those with shingles um, need continued prayers as this is very painful. Uh, we're praying for Sherry, who's needing a liver transplant. Eddie Potts uh, being treated for an open hip wound and needing surgery on his shoulder. Keep praying for John Sutter, who has had two recent strokes. Uh, Tim Davidson has been dealing with bacterial pneumonia. Uh, my parents uh, have been ill with a viral illness. Uh, Pastor Marty DeLotten family uh, with bronchitis. The Cummins family has had the flu uh, go through their household. And uh, many others have chronic uh, lung and respiratory conditions and need our continued prayers as they are um, uh, more susceptible to things like COVID um, and these other seasonal illnesses that can really take them down quickly. Let's keep praying for the children on our list, Stella, Elliot, uh, Darla's granddaughter, Emily, Bailey May, Baby G, Lorelei, Jenna, Tucker, Abram, Abel, Tano, Brantley, and Elsie. We need to pray for all those who are battling with heart disease, uh, those who suffer from dementia and memory deterioration issues. Uh, pray for Sarah, Marty, Riley, and Tracy who all suffer from MS. And we're praying for Tracy's home to sell, as this will help her greatly by shortening her daily commute. Beth, Marcia, Marcia's co-worker son, and Melena uh, suffer from migraine headaches. We're praying for continued recovery for Anthony Sifford, Wayne Owens, Buddy Randolph, Billy Huey, Carmen's cousin Kelly, Johnny's nephew Joey, Sue Morse's nephew Dwayne, all recovering from stroke. Sharon Burks and Sarah Seaball recovering from hip surgery. Pastor Chris Dew with Guillain Barre syndrome and Brother David Kent uh, with partial paralysis after a fall on icy pavement more than a year ago. Other health needs we're praying about Michelle Clark, Devin Huff, 
Doug Seaball, George Tibbs, Jessica O'Hara, Janet, Judy Williams' brother, Sheila Sadler, Bob and Shirley Perkins, Cheryl Ogden, Venus, Randy Reeves, Pat Wilson and Robbie, Marshall Link, Kristen's friend Laura, Cheryl LaChance's uncle, Kristen's friend Ann, Meredith, and Judy Cookson's granddaughter and great-granddaughter, as well as Robin Tibbs. Pray for those who are in nursing homes today, that they will receive the care and the encouragement that they need. Uh, North American and Global Missionaries, our 12 missionaries on status here in Missouri, uh, needing continual prayer for encouragement, strength, and to be able to see clearly their path forward in this new year. Uh, our Global Missionaries overseas, uh, need continual prayer, especially the Tomyevs and Pattersons finding themselves um, in, in and around the conflict in Ukraine. Uh, we're praying for the Haitian family who minister to our military family stationed in Germany. We need to pray for uh, our missionaries from Haiti, the Bryan family, who has just started deputation here in the States. They will be with us in the month of March. So let's continue to remember them in our prayers. Also, uh, the uh, believers in Access Challenge Nations who have been under persecution need our continued prayers. And I was meaning to say the Tingley family uh, who are on their way to Haiti, if not already there, to uh, replace the Bryans while they're on vacation. And that will also be their permanent field of labor. Our military personnel and their families, let's keep lifting them up in our prayers. Pray for all those who have spiritual and family needs today, and I will call those names out uh, during prayer today. If you have new names to add to the list, make sure you submit those to us this morning, as well as any health needs, and we will uh, add needs of any nature to our list. Uh, unspoken request today, Robin Kay, Venus's daughters, uh, Judy Williams' family, Johnny's family, Jessica's family, Tracy Powers, the Pulliams, all with unspoken needs. And we're praying for peace and comfort for Micah, Malachi, Kayla, and Dee. Micah, Malachi, and Kayla just lost a sibling who was uh, shot in the face three times and died shortly after arriving at the hospital. And uh, this is Dee's uh, oldest son, I believe. And so they need our prayers uh, for peace, comfort, strength uh, during this a tragic time that they're suffering through. So many things for us to pray about today, and I'm thankful for each of you uh, who are here to help me take these needs to the Lord in prayer. Good morning to you, Marcia and Johnny. Uh, good to see you today, Pam and Sherman, Terry, Ben, Judy, Kristen. Uh, we thank God for each of you and others who are signing on here uh, to uh, participate in our prayer time this morning. We appreciate you so very, very much. Um, take time to read through these new requests that are being added and make sure that you add them to your personal uh, prayer list today uh, as well. We're reading this morning from Psalm 142. This is a prayer of David when he was in the cave. It says, I cried unto the Lord with my voice. With my voice unto the Lord did I make my supplication. I poured out my complaint before him. I showed before him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path. And that particular verse, verse 3, is what I want to focus on today. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path. In the way wherein I walked, have they privily laid a snare for me. I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no man that would know me. Refuge failed me. No man cared for my soul. I cried unto thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may praise thy name. The righteous shall compass me about, for thou shalt deal bountifully with me. If you think about uh, David's life, um, it's really remarkable um, the things that he went through. And just if you just stop and just think about 
uh, the trajectory of his life. He grew up with seven siblings while helping his dad work on the farm, spent most of his day each day with the animals, and then suddenly he had this opportunity to do something really heroic when he was uh, still pretty young, and he saved a ton of people from certain death. The leader of the nation noticed him. He ended up leaving his family and growing up in the palace with the ruler and his son. He became besties, if you will, with the ruler's son. Uh, they were inseparable. He even had a pretty good relationship with the dad as well, often being called into his presence to calm him down with uh, his amazing musical abilities. He even ended up marrying one of the royal kids, and the ruler became his father-in-law. Wow, that that's really an awesome uh, trajectory that David was on. But then suddenly the carpet was uh, pulled out from under, under him very, very ruthlessly, having all the things that you could ever want, a fancy home, a best friend, a great job, a cool boss. And then suddenly David loses it all. The king goes crazy, decides to kill him. He has to flee. And now he finds himself no longer in the palace, but in this cold, dark, and creepy cave where he is hiding. And that's where he writes the words of Psalm 142. So imagine the emotions that he was feeling. He was out of energy, terrified by the dangers he was in, confused, painfully alone, and now praying for God to bring his soul out of prison. But I noticed verse 3, it just stood out to me so much this morning. And it said, when my spirit was overwhelmed within me, that then thou knewest my path. And we could look at that and say that God knows where you're at, and he certainly does. But I think it also means that God not only knows where we're at, but he knows the path forward. Because, listen folks, when you're in the will of God, there's just one path. When you are operating in the will of God, there's one path. And unfortunately, that same path that takes us to places of exaltation will also take us to places where we are abased. We will abound and we will be abased on the same path of God's will. But just as sure as God knows where you're at, he knows the path forward because he made that path for you. And he's not going to leave you uh, and forsake you in the middle of it. That path that leads from exaltation to places of trial continues on and the story doesn't end wherever you're at and of course we know the story of David and how great of a leader that he became after this time that he was in the cave God has great things for all of us in 2024 and we don't know where the path will lead us but we do know that God knows that path and if we'll stay on the path that he has made for us and trust in him then wherever that it takes us, we are going to be victorious in the end. I feel that today so strongly in the Holy Ghost that that is for someone that's watching right now. I want you to receive that word in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we come to you today asking you to help us to receive your word. Lord, not just the, uh, the word that encourages us, but the word that strengthens us today and helps us to know that there is a balance in this walk and relationship with you. It's not all uh, good times, but it is all productive times. In the valley, we grow. In the, in the cave, we gain perspective. And wherever that our people are at today that are praying with us, God, I pray that you would help them to understand that when our spirit is overwhelmed within us, Lord, that you know our path in that time. And you always know where we're at and you know where you're taking us. And we just simply need to trust in you. Thank you, Lord, for helping me to receive that word today. Help me to live by it in the name of Jesus. And now, Lord, today we ask you to reach down and just work your perfect plan in every life. Lord, for these that are facing health issues right now, we speak healing, knowing that you are the provider of all of our needs. You see Sue's condition with this brain tumor that's doubled in size. and You see Grayson having ACL surgery today and Cindy having back surgery tomorrow and others who are trying to get scheduled for surgeries that are needed. They're in dark times right now, Lord, but you are with them. And we pray, God, that you would bring them through 
gloriously in the name of Jesus. We believe for Sue's surgery to go well with no complications in Jesus' name and for these others as well. We pray for Marcia's co-worker's husband. We pray, God, that this scope would yield results that they can treat by and get to the bottom of this situation. We pray for Maisie with this brain tumor and for Pam who's battling cancer, Jim Ramey and Maggie, Lynn Lawrence and Marcia's co-worker's aunt, Murphy Belgard and Linda Young, Rebecca Peterson and Kenny Burns, Amy Dees, Cheryl, Diane, Heather Milligan, Dennis Felt, Sherry, Dwayne Lewis, Claire, Alice, Scott Lucia, Cindy, Christine, Marcia's friend's grandparent, Daniel Dickinson, Valerie, Betty, Ari Bowers, Jamie Joe's grandfather, Gladys Sims, Jordan, Julia, all of these needing healing of cancer today. And Lord, you are the mighty God. There's nothing that is too hard for you. Hallelujah. Lord, you care about what these people are going through right now. Reach down, Lord, and deliver, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray for Darlin, Virginia. Thank you for where you brought them from. And we pray, God, that you would continue to help them through their precautionary treatments. You're the same God that brought them through uh, radiation and chemo and all these surgeries and treatments. And, Lord, you're with them now as they come out the other side of that dark path. We pray, God, for Dave and Oscar, for healing of their kidneys, for Vivian, Russ, Beulah, my dad, Matt, Tim, with Parkinson's disease. We pray for Eva's daughter, Sandra, Michael Parrott, Olivia, Natalie, Regina's granddaughter, Aubrey, Pam's granddaughter, Savannah, Amber Kay, Heather, Lord, with these stomach issues, that they would receive a healing touch today. We pray for Carolyn and Becky, Rebecca Williams, Britt Moore, Cindy Page, Pam's daughter, Jenny, Brianna, Johnny, Terry, Jennifer, Tammy, dealing with these back issues, uh, those with arthritis, Rose and Virgil, June, Sister Judy's mom, those with mobility issues, Chris and Sheila, Renee, Sammy, and Donna. We believe for your healing touch for each of them. Those that suffer with diabetes, Lord, we lift up Cheryl and Jimmy, Brother Pulliam, Christian Carr, Titus Dornbach, Cindy and Lloyd, Tim, Steve, Anthony, Michael, Emily, Evie, Rose, Becca, Cheney, J.R., Natalie, Lola, Grady, and Holly. We pray, God, for healing. We pray for stabilization in the, in the uh, medication availability for this disease. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, for Carol, for Regina, for Bob, as they need healing from shingles. We pray for Sherry, Lord, for healing of her liver, for Eddie, dealing with this open hip wound and needing surgery on his shoulder. We pray for John Sutter again today. Lord, that you would heal him of these uh, strokes that he has uh, suffered. We pray for Tim Davidson for healing of pneumonia. For mom and dad, Lord, that they would be completely whole from this viral illness they've been battling. We lift up the Lot, the Lot family, Lord, today for healing of bronchitis and the Cummins family battling the flu. Brother Mike Williams, who's been uh, sick for several days. And, and uh, Leo, Lord, that needs your touch today. We pray for Pam's aunt, Nancy, and for Carolyn, Gary Lee, Kendra, and Robbie who have chronic lung conditions. Those who are battling COVID right now. We lift up these children that we've mentioned again this morning, Lord. Praying, God, for your healing for them today. We know that you are well able. Hallelujah. You're the healer of heart disease today for Robin, for Jenny's dad, for Doyle and Holly, Amy Dees and Cheryl, for Brother Morris and Kelly B., Janie's nephew, Blaine, Kenny Prenzel, Mike Sappington, Joyce Fisk, Sister Patty Arnold, David Duggar, Bud Taylor, Don, Betty, Jimmy, and Michelle Strain's mother. You're the healer of dementia today, the healer of memory loss. Reach down and touch these today who are suffering. In Jesus' name, we believe for healing of MS for Tracy, Marty, Riley, and Sarah. We believe for Tracy's home to sell, for her commute to be shortened. We believe for healing of migraine headaches today. and We believe for continued recovery for all those we've mentioned this morning and others who are going through physical therapy today and those who are in need of pain relief. We lift up Venus and Randy, Robbie and Marshall, Laura, Cheryl's uncle, Kristen's friend, Ann, Meredith, Judy's, uh, Judy Cookson's granddaughter and great-granddaughter, Robin Tibbs, Sheila Sandler, Cheryl Ogden, 
Bob and Shirley Perkins, Jessica, Janet, Judy's brother, George Tibbs, Doug Seaball, Michelle Clark, and Devin Huff, whatever their individual needs are today of healing, Lord, you know all about it, and you took stripes upon your back that we might receive our healing. Hallelujah. With your stripes, we are healed in Jesus' name. We pray for those who are in nursing homes and long-term care facilities today. We lift up our North American missionaries and our global missionaries today. We pray for peace in Israel and an end to the war in Ukraine. We pray, God, against these advances that are being made by Iran right now and the tenuous situation between China and Taiwan. We pray, God, for your will to be done in this earth today. As we enter into this election year, God, we pray that your will would be done in the direction for our nation. We pray for our military service members today and their families, God, that you would protect them, that you would strengthen them, encourage them today, strengthen the families that are separated during deployments. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, for our Mingo RCF residents today. We pray, God, that you would help us to reach them this year, Lord in a greater measure than ever before. We pray your blessing upon that ministry and upon our Job Corps students and the new ministry efforts that will be reaching out to them in this year. We pray, Lord, for Brandon, who's dealing with marital issues, for Jeffrey, needing reconciliation in his family, and for his wife who needs healing. We lift up Shirley and others who are battling depression and thoughts of suicide. We pray for Lisa's mental, emotional, and spiritual healing today. We believe for destiny to grow in her relationship with you. We pray for Annette and Dave. We lift up Ashley and Linda today. We pray for Terry Monk and that he would receive uh, the salvation that you have for him today. We pray for David to return to you. We lift up Rose this morning and, and pray for her family that they'll serve you, God. We pray for Marcia's family situation. We lift up Donna Joyce and her family member that needs protection and salvation. We pray for the Cummins family, the Marlins, the Clarks, the Williams, the Pulliams, the Robbins, the Sappingtons, Debbie Biddick and her children and grandchildren. We lift up Brother Mark Perkins and Sister Jenny and their family today, the children and grandchildren today. You see all the family issues and the situations that uh, each of these are dealing with. God, we pray that you would move, Lord. We touch Jenny's parents today, Lord. They need healing and strength in their bodies. In Jesus' name, we pray for Judy's grandson. We pray for Beulah's granddaughter, for Jennifer and Brenda's family, for Jr. and for Josh and Alan, for Ashley and Dawson, Charles, Frank, William, Dana, and so many who are battling addiction today. We believe for revival in our community and in every community represented by this prayer team today. We believe for prodigals to return home, Lord. We believe for unspoken requests to be answered today for Robin and for Venus's daughters, for Judy's family and Johnny's family, for Jessica and her family, for Tracy and for the Pulliams today. Move in each of these needs, Lord, in Jesus' name. We know, God, that you are able. You know our path today, and you are with us on this journey. Hallelujah. There's nothing that's too hard for you today, God. We pray for your peace and comfort uh, for uh, the family of Malik today, for Micah, Malachi, Kayla, Dee, and so many others, friends and family members affected by this tragedy. God, we pray that you would comfort and strengthen them today. Hallelujah. You are well able. Lord, needs that are being added to our list today, we pray you would just move in these situations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let your perfect will be done. Guide us this day. Bless the midweek service tonight here in Puxico and elsewhere. We're services are going on uh, tonight we pray your will would be done your blessing on our recovery group lord tonight and upon each class in the name of jesus let your word go forth under the anointing tonight that will change lives move among our young people we thank you for the work that you're doing we pray god for those that are unstable that they would become uh, firmly established in their faith this year, Lord, help us to lead people to where they need to be in you. Hallelujah. To that place of, of joy and rest and hope in you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, prayer team. 
uh, for praying with us. Uh, let's do add to our list today. Uh, Kristen's husband, John, battling with congestion. I'm sure others are posting needs right now, but that's the one that I see on the screen in front of me at the moment. The Lord touch John right now in Jesus' name. We believe for his healing in Jesus' name. Every need our God supplies, and I thank you for agreeing with me today in prayer for all of these needs. We'll see you tomorrow morning right here on Facebook Live once again at 7.30 a.m. I hope that you can pray with us live, and if not, that you will search out the video later in the day, either on Facebook or YouTube, and then we can continue to hold these needs up before the throne of grace. God bless you in Jesus' name. I'll see you tomorrow.